Welcome, Leo, to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 20th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. As this week begins, so the Sun in the sensitive but also very deeply passionate sign of Scorpio angles to Pluto, the modern ruler of Scorpio, in your sixth house. Something to do with your home life, either the practicalities of it or the emotional dimension, could go through some shift, but it can be a very positive shift right at the start of this week. Because the Sun and Pluto can, along these two houses, four and six, be to do with structures in some way, you know, for example, ordering your home, fourth house home, sixth house, decluttering, making sure everything is working in a very smooth and efficient way, maybe you can achieve some setup that gives you a sense that you've really worked hard at evolving something that's working well for you. But you know, it can also be an internal journey with the Sun and Pluto. Something can shift in you in terms of understanding your emotional needs, the Sun in the fourth house, and also how you can actually output or improve your sense of comfort with making sure the practical dimension is working as efficiently as it can. But it all changes on Wednesday, Leo, because then the sun hustle bustles into your sister fire sign of Sagittarius. The sun in Sagittarius is freedom loving, it's independent, it's adventurous, can be outspoken and opinionated, but for you, this is house five. In astrology, house five is very redolent of the core vibration of your sign. It's about charisma, it's about fun, it's about pleasures, joyfulness. If you have children, their pursuits can be very important to you over the next month. But immediately, dour old Saturn blocks the energy, the radiance of the sun. Somebody could be quite jealous of you this week. And because Mars follows the Sun on Friday into Sagittarius and itself is impacted by, uh, by Saturn, that could really, really be frustrating to you because you've gone through quite a thoughtful stage of the year with the Sun and Mars travelling through Scorpio. And the inner work that you've been doing may have just been preparing you to, to really flourish. Because over the last 15 years, I don't think it's as, been as easy for you to demonstrate your natural uh, brilliance as people, other people think. And it's not because your flame has been completely dimmed, that would be impossible. It's more that you've been caught up in servicing the needs of others. And that's because of Pluto being in the sixth house. So you've kind of been a bit torn between the things you've wanted to do for yourself that you know that are creative imaginative artistic fun um, you've been torn with trying to work with those things but at the same time support those other people or situations maybe it's shown up most of all in your work you know you've maybe had to work very hard in a very dedicated and disciplined way, perhaps in a role that doesn't let you flourish quite as much as you like. Now, of course, you still have an opportunity to absolutely dazzle people when you've had the spare time, but that time's just been pinched and limited. So the preparation you've been doing over the last month with the inner thinking you've been doing with the Scorpio, deep, sensitive energy, is preparing you now to just come out and you know just really turn that dazzleometer up to max so what is saturn about well saturn in the eighth house can be where we're most devoted to others it can be long-term finances but it can also be about sex maybe in a close relationship that you're already in your desire for playfulness and socializing but also to enjoy you know, getting up close, having a laugh, but also enjoying that warmth and touch and affection, fifth house, could in some ways be inhibited perhaps by your own uh, inner uh, 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 senses, or it could be somebody else who's proven to be remote and difficult. Maybe 
it's not going to happen around your romantic situation that Saturn shows up. It could be, as I mentioned, that somebody that you're connected to in some way or another just doesn't really like you manifesting the best side of you. And you always feel that if you do uh, turn it on, that they pull away. So there could be some of that this week, which can cause a lot of frustration, almost all the way to anger, if you feel that someone just seems to want to sabotage you when you're getting into top form. And then Friday through to Sunday, Mercury squaring up with Neptune. Neptune also like uh, Saturn in Pisces. So once more, we've got the fifth, fifth, eighth house energy. But possibly there, I think that could be that you could just really fancy someone, but maybe they're not being completely truthful about what their situation is, their availability, or what their intentions are. You know, if everyone always is clear about their intentions, even if our intentions don't always match, we can uh, take decisions in a more informed way for some kind of temporary connection because that suits both parties. But it's when one party makes out that they want something more than they are able for or is secretive about another connection with someone else, that's when people get desperately hurt. So you're entering a phase of the year when you can definitely, absolutely smell upon people with the full force of your personality. But I don't think it's necessarily going to be so easy this week. Or it could be that just sat in the eighth house means that money is a bit tight just when you want to splash out on Christmas presents or go out and have a really sociable night with your friends. So with year 2024 absolutely racing towards us, just remember if you'd like to get your personal horoscope forecast for next year based on your unique birth data, you can take advantage of my special package and get 30% off and get your character analysis, your life roadmap report. But also you can get your year 2024 zodiac forecast for all the signs, your Chinese forecast, for all the signs, your Indian forecast, your Vedic forecast, for all the signs, absolutely free of charge if you buy that package. Please see beneath this video for more. It's been a real pleasure being with you and thank you so much for joining me. I'd be honoured if you would like, comment, share or subscribe.